April the 13th, something around 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, sun will rise there, and there's a light frost, and uh, I had a rough time in the night. Um, it's like one side of my body was paralysed and I couldn't move and I had to ask Flip for help uh, several times and, and I thought about I thought about the fact that my part of my brain is, is, is slowly disappearing with Parkinson's disease and um, I started thinking about suicide again and uh, <laughs> the thing about suicide is suddenly this here now the sun about to rise the beauty of the morning the bird song suddenly seems bloody wonderful it's bloody wonderful and uh, I've had it a few times over the last few years, but thinking about suicide, quite frankly, makes it feel very, very good to be alive. Hmm. <clears throat> so here's the story so far. Sunday, was it Sunday? Saturday, Sunday. We were, walk we were cycling past Pete Telfer's house. He's a documentary filmmaker. And uh, he came out to fill the car, the car with something or other and uh, invited us in for tea. And I said, Hi Pete, do you fancy making a film about someone with Parkinson's disease? Um, he, he, said, he said, yes, do you mean you? I said, yeah, me. And he said, yes, okay. Now, what sort of person would, would ask that? You know, it just came out. What sort of? What is it? Oh, um, and then I got back to him in a message, a sort of email, and um, I said it needs a documentary film. It's daft. Anyway, it needs um, a narrative or two, and I suggested three. The making of the world's first self-propelled um, elevating summer house. A spoof rendition of of me singing Uptown Funk. So, what's the guy's name? And um, what else? Oh, a triathlon. A sort of ten-hour triathlon of canoeing. I mean, what's it all? Why? What? So the questions are, oh, I've got to get up for this. Well, the questions are, why should, um, why should, what sort of guy so vain as to make, to make a film about himself? Um, what's the other questions? I don't know. Can you help me out for me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's what I mean, hold on. What's the person um, would embark on these dark projects? Oh, pointless. Fun. There's something of the silly old fool about me now. I remind myself. This is who I remind myself of sometimes. This is my father. He was a sort of he was a sort of hero unto himself. He was the sort of person who got up in the morning 
singing, you know, very irritating to people who are happy, delighted to be alive. He loved shaving and, and looking at himself in the mirror, thinking how handsome he was. Well, he does look quite handsome in that picture. This, and you may not know it because of the way it's naturally posed, looking away from the camera, is a selfie. They didn't have that word. He had his hand on a plunger which pushed the shutter. So, there's some of it. Vanity, silly old fool syndrome, a kind of schwad of fever, and um, let's do it. Let's do these three daft projects and answer more questions. Not about me, but about, I don't know why we do what we do or something. I don't know the questions yet. But, um, it will be interesting. And, um, but there's this. It's a series of branches around the house. Codenamed the Life Arboreal. Which uh, helped me get around. People with Parkinson's have problems with their posture. And they're, they're like this. Um, this helps me get around and it strains me out. Also, there's a possibility of showing that. And while we're on the subject of showing up, another thing. do anything. <laughs> you can still do something. <laughs> okay, so here's how it is. I, uh, sometimes I have very great difficulty with my movement. Okay, that's me walking now. For some reason, it's easier. It's easier to walk carrying a wheelbarrow. Why is this? It's because there's nothing wrong with my body, it's Parkinson's. It's a message from the brain to the body, and sometimes, sometimes a bigger message gets through. All of us reach wooden. That's it. Uh, you might be able to hear my son Peter. He's just come home from Madrid. He's been studying flamenco guitar. And uh, he's come to look after me for a couple of, well, for a few days. Right, if he's right, playing, you can't stop it. Well, um, is it alright to go after me? Well, I'm not much trouble, am I? 
not too much. It's better known sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Like, come on, come on. Uh, uh, I... Well, what? You asked me for lots of things. Yeah. That's okay, it's kind of normal. Yeah. Um, sometimes you can't move. Yeah. I mean, it's a bit of a pain if you can't move. What about in the night? Do you mind that? In the night, you wake me up saying, Peter, Peter. Um, no, it's not, it's not too bad. I wake yeah. up, I give you a jab, and then yeah. I go back to sleep. We, we, we've got a baby listener, you know, the baby that I met. I shout in a beautiful voice and please goes gets me. I just want to speak for a moment about the S word again. You, you know the one I mean. It's not that there's any immediate or ever has been any immediate, you know, feeling of want to it, wanting to end it all. It's this. Uh, there are people with Parkinson's running marathons. There are people with Parkinson's lying, as I, as I understand it, lying immobile on the bed forever, being fed by a tube because they can't swallow. Those are the, the two extremes. Now the second of those two, I really don't fancy. I don't want to go there. I don't want to take the people who I care for very much down that road. Well, it's been 10 years now and I'm still doing pretty good. I'm having a lot of good times. So there's, you know, don't think of it, there's no, it's not, an, it's not an immediate plan, okay? <laughs> Here we are, Flick and I, uh, sheltering from the relentless Welsh sunshine. Um, I'm talking about, talking about, well, we've been together 30 years, 10 of which, during 10 of which I've had Parkinson's disease. I think it brought us a bit closer together, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I think it has, yeah. Yeah, and I think we've had some fun, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Keep it clean. We've definitely <laughs> had some fun, and clean fun, yes. <laughs> okay, so what, 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 what sort of things do you think? Uh, going to the Himalayas, yep. doing three treks. Yeah. Spending three months in India. Yeah. Going to South America. Walking in the Kolka Canyon, trekking in the Andes, oh, and yeah. going, doing lots and lots of travelling, adventurous travelling, just the two of us with the book sacks, yeah. that's, with small bags, yeah. and uh, that's been brilliant fun. Yeah, no, no, I, I, it's been, what happened is we, we started walking, at, we, we discovered that uh, exercise is really, really, really helpful for me. And we started walking a lot, and we went to the Alps and stuff. Didn't we? Yeah. And, and then we started travelling. And, and it, it, I, it came on so quickly in 2006. I thought I'm not going to be very well for very long at all. So it's a kind of um, what how do you say? Do it while you can sort of scenario. And boy, did we did we do it while we could? Mm. We couldn't do it now. We didn't waste any time. No, it's been great. Um, I, I I I think it was last year. Uh, I was in a moment's tenderness before falling asleep. I, I said, uh, to please. <laughs> I said, I'm glad I met you. What did you say? I said, um, what did I say? I think I said, I bet you are. Glad you met me. <laughs> she <laughs> yes. said, I bet you are. <laughs> Make what you will of that. That's it, folks. <laughs> well, this is what happens when I go for a walk on my own. So Peter's here holding the camera. He's going to get me up now. And um, fortunately, I have my phone. End of the video. Three projects then. First is this. Do you remember this? From a couple of years ago. <laughs>
maybe maybe more maybe more than enough i just a couple of years ago that song song came out maybe three years ago and i was uh, fascinated by this almost tongue-in-cheek almost arrogance of this guy and i i, I wanted to do a, a a kind of spoof video in uptown punk read vendor guide or and, and maybe maybe i still do want to do a spoof video of uptown funk I've got to get the pink jacket, that's the thing that's holding me back at the moment. Oh, and I've got to learn to dance, and dance is very good for people with Parkinson's disease. So, so you know, watch the space. Meanwhile, project number two is this. The, uh, <coughs> this shed. This shed may or may not become the elevating summer house. Here's a close-up of some of the intended mechanism uh, telegraph poles danger of death of course um, uh, boxes filled with weights counterweights um, it's a kind of I have in mind an elegant rustic and inexpensive counterweight system um, the four telegraph poles on uh, one on each corner and counterweights to lift the shed up I, oh yeah I went to a uh, an engineer kind of guy of locally spoke at great length about it and uh, the thing that surprised me is, is that he showed no surprise when I said the words elevating summer house and I, I put it to him uh, at the end of a long long talk I said why did why weren't you surprised and he, and he said he's a very straight conventional sort of guy he said I make dragons yes he makes dragons for, for carnival floats so there you are um, Oh yeah, project number three, the triathlon. As times in the house, I fall over twice between the, the living room and the, and the bathroom. I wear, I'm embarrassed to show you this, a, um, a buzzer like old people wear in case they fall, because I fall and I can't get up sometimes and I need help and the neighbors come. However, if I get started early, I could still walk or cycle or, or big distances with the help of the right medication and, and, and friends along the way. So a triathlon. The, the W Estuary is, is over there somewhere and Cadridge is over there somewhere and the idea is to canoe up the estuary, cycle to Cadder and walk over the mountain and so I'd better get in training. Your mother fell off her bike doing this. <laughs> Not surprisingly. Good luck, man. <laughs> Just leaving the tennis court is the once again victorious <laughs> Felicity Eden. This is how she 
gets it out of the system. All the, all the nightmares that he's looking after. Is it true or is it true? Yeah, I like to beat you at times. <laughs> Okay, so you need to know the bad stuff too. Uh, I, I'm on this sofa because I can't get up off this sofa. I have the camera here. I have the camera here. I have my, my medication. I don't have the injections that help me a lot. I also have neglected to, to, to put the telephone here, with which I would normally alert a neighbour. Um, I do have if, the, if things get too rough and nobody turns up this thing. It's, it's for emergencies really. If I press it, someone comes through on the intercom next door and they will alert a neighbour or even the emergency services if that be necessary. But there's nobody in the house. I can't move. I don't. You see, the thing is, I can't really get off this thing. You might see over here what might you see you might see a piano which I don't play two guitars behind it and a flute which I no longer play in the distance you might see a bookcase full of books which I no longer read because because my concentration's gone. Um, I suppose the truth is it's a loss of independence. The loss of ever being able to go anywhere alone, um, spontaneously. It's one of the hardest things. But I, I, I've got a lot of support. Um, my facial expression goes, my voice goes. And. Um, but I'll take a tablet in a minute and um, may may start feeling better after a bit. I'm not going to smile. Why should I? And yet, and yet, I, I don't feel too bad these days. This is just the down bit. There are lots of good bits. You know that too. No, I'm I'm stuck. Can you get a neighbor? Can you get a neighbor? Can hello? Can you get hello? No, I'm stuck. I need I need help. Can you get number Mike at number five? No, Mike at number five. Thanks. Hi Richard. Mike. Come in. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I'm stuck. Can you get a, stuck. I've got a jab store on the t table outside if you could give me an injection. That table outside? Yeah, yeah, please. You mean in the... Uh, uh, no, the no, no, in the garden there's one. Yeah. Oh. oh, Richard. It's not in the plant. 
Oh, so it's, it's, a, it's a foyer. Yeah. yeah. You're filming this for a Yeah, it's a, vid it's a video documentary about Parkinson's disease. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Right, so I'll say, take, take the top off. Say it's a four. Yeah. Open it. Yeah, take, 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 take that off. And then no, anywhere my, my calf is going on. Your calf? Yeah. Uh, a bit higher? No, no, a calf. Calf. That's the thigh. Oh, calf down your throat. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's the light. That's the light. Oh, not much light here, it has. Look on this side. Okay. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Truth is. The truth is, I'm not sure if I'm going to make this, this elevated somehow. And um, I'm not sure, I, I, can't, I can't believe I'm going to do the triathlon. It's possible. I'm certainly very unlikely to do the Uptown Funk project. Um, but it's been fun thinking about it. I just thought of them as ways of, of creating some sort of narrative for, for Pete's film. I haven't heard from him. Perhaps there'll be no documentary about a man with Parkinson's disease. It reminds me of um, reminds me of the Wizard of Oz, you know, when the the Tin Man is hasn't got a heart and he's making a journey to Wizard of Oz. Um, and, and he discovers he has got a heart and the straw man has no courage and and uh, he discovers he is brave on the journey and they get to the Wizard of Oz uh, and, and it's a scam. There is no wizard. But the making of the journey gave them what they were searching for. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit like that, you know, like the like the Woody Allen joke. Um, you know the one. He says, uh, the "Man goes to a doctor, a psychiatrist, and he says, uh, my I, I want my brother locked away. He thinks he's a chicken, and the psychiatrist says." You should get him knocked away, why don't you? And, and the guy says, but there's, there's a problem, I need the eggs. It's, it's like that, I think there is, there is no deeper meaning, there is, it's not the end of the journey that matters. There are no eggs, there is no wizard. And maybe there's, maybe there's no, um, no documentary film. Or maybe there is. Maybe it's not. Mm -hmm. Can't switch it off. No one makes cheese on toast like you do. do, 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 do. Do 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 do